we're going to orthogonally diagonalize this 2x2 two two matrix. This, of course, will require us to find an orthogonally diagonalizing matrix P. I'll leave a link in the description to the lesson where we introduced orthogonal diagonalization. In that video, we saw that these are the three steps to orthogonally diagonalize an n by n symmetric matrix. And these are the steps that we'll follow for this problem. We have to begin by finding a basis for each eigenspace of our matrix. So we gotta start with the eigenvalues. To find the eigenvalues, we need to find the characteristic equation. So we find the determinant of lambda i minus n. A. Lambda i minus a just looks like this. It's the entries of a negated with lambda added on the diagonal. The determinant of this is lambda minus 3 times lambda minus 3 minus negative 1 times negative 1, so minus positive 1. So we have lambda minus 3 squared minus 1, which is equal to lambda squared minus 6 lambda plus 8. That's the characteristic polynomial, and we can factor it and set it equal to 0 to get the characteristic equation whose solutions are the eigenvalues. We can factor this as lambda minus 4 times lambda minus 2. Set this equal to 0, and we find the eigenvalues are 4 and 2. With these eigenvalues, we can now find bases for the corresponding eigenspaces. So for lambda equals 4, we're just plugging 4 in for lambda in this matrix, and then finding its null space. 4 minus 3 is 1, 4 minus 3 is 1, so that's where this comes from. And then we can just add row 1 to row 2 to get this reduced row echelon form. We see that column 2 has no leading 1, so x2 is a free variable, say x2 equals t. From row 1, we also have, then, that x1 equals t. And so the solutions can be described like this, t times the vector 1, 1. And that vector 1, 1, then, forms a basis for the corresponding eigenspace. Let's call that basis eigenvector v1. We go through the same process for lambda equals 2, plug 2 in for lambda in this matrix, and then find the null space. We find that this is the basis vector for that null space, which of course is the basis for the eigenspace corresponding to this eigenvalue. The vector negative 1, 1, and we're going to call that v2. If you need more of a recap about eigenspaces, and finding their bases, I'll leave a link in the description. All right, so we have two eigenvectors. They're from different eigenspaces, so we know they're linearly independent, and also we know that they're already orthogonal because they're basis vectors for distinct eigenspaces. Link in the description to the video where we proved that's true. Basis vectors from distinct eigenspaces are orthogonal. Now, step two of the orthogonal diagonalization process requires that we orthonormalize all of our basis eigenvectors. But these two vectors are already orthogonal, so all we have to do is normalize them. Then we can construct our orthogonally diagonalizing matrix P. We'll say that U1 is V1 divided by its norm. Thus, u1 is the unit vector in the direction of v1. Certainly, the norm of v1 is the square root of 2, so we just take this vector and divide by the square root of 2, which looks like that. We could then rationalize those denominators and write u1 like this. Same thing for u2. We take this other eigenvector, v2, and its norm is also the square root of 2. So divide it by the square root of 2, and that gives us this unit vector. We can rationalize the denominators to get this unit vector. Now we have a set of orthonormal basis eigenvectors for our 2x2 two two matrix. We can use these, then, as the columns for P, our orthogonally diagonalizing matrix. So once you get an orthonormal normal set of all of your basis eigenvectors, those are the columns of your orthogonally diagonalizing matrix. In our case, it looks like this. You can see U1 as column 1, and U2 is column 2. This matrix P is an orthogonal matrix, and it's going to diagonalize A. And there it is. P transpose AP, which is the same as P inverse AP, since P is orthogonal, that looks like this. There's P transpose, 
there's A, there's P, and if you do all this multiplication, you get this diagonal matrix. It's a diagonal matrix with the eigenvalues of A on the diagonal. The eigenvalues are in the order corresponding to the eigenvectors that were used to construct P. The first column of P is the eigenvector corresponding to 4. That's why 4 appears first in this diagonal matrix. So that's how to orthogonally diagonalize a 2 by 2 symmetric matrix. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my linear algebra course and linear algebra exercises playlists in the description for more. If you found my videos helpful, Helpful, please consider supporting what I do by joining Wrath of Math as a channel member. You can get early and exclusive access to additional videos and extra practice, and if you join at the premium tier or above, you can access the lecture notes used in this course. Thanks for watching. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're stressed about.